Hello everyone, happy Vlogmas Day 5. Um, actually, it is quite late in the day. It is like 3 o'clock. <laughs> I'm just now coming on, look at all that, my husband just throws clothes on the chair. Um, just coming on to say hello. So we, um, I was going to do some sewing today, but you know what? I have a runny nose. <laughs> God, I get head cold. Not COVID. It's not COVID. I don't have any of the other symptoms. I literally am just sneezing a ton or it's allergy. I'm sneezing a ton and I have a stopped up runny nose and that's it. Anyway, um, I slept in today though because it's, I wanted to, <laughs> it felt really good. So I slept in this morning. Everyone did really. Um, and then we've just been decorating the Christmas trees, um, and putting up some other holiday decorations. It's kind of nice. Like we've just really been taking our time putting up the Christmas decorations instead of having like a real like manic session of putting up Christmas decorations. Um, so really we have like a couple of little Christmas villages that need to be put up still and a couple of other, I think four more boxes of stuff that just, and a lot of it's like bigger things. I have like a couple of like really teeny little trees that just get like six ornaments put on them, um, that go in a couple places. Um, and usually the kids like to help me do that. So yeah, we'll probably get to that tomorrow and then the house will be decorated. Um, so that's exciting. Um, but yeah, no sewing has happened today. I really want to get back into the sewing room, but it's been kind of nice to do nothing today. I haven't even looked at like email really or <laughs> answered comments. I apologize. I will probably sit down tomorrow and do a big chunk of, of comments. Um, but yeah, so that's been nice. And uh, I think tomorrow I did print off a pattern. I printed off the Liesl & Co. recital shirt um, because that is a shirt that I wanted to recreate for a sew the look later on. I don't have the fabric for the jeans I want to recreate for that look, but I do want to go ahead and make the shirt. Um, because it is, I do owe um, a project for Minerva. So I could go ahead and get pictures in the shirt and then just wait and do a sew the look video um, once I get the pants made, which may not be till next year. But I do want to get pictures of the shirt and get that all uploaded onto the Minerva site. And I want to get the shirt made up. So um, I've printed that off. So I'm going to do that. Um, yeah, and I'm still thinking about that red wool, what coat pattern I want to do. I also have the Liesl & Co. Cheval coat, um, although it's a little, a little, it's not as fitted as the Romana, which might be okay. I don't know. <laughs> I'm still thinking on that one. We'll get to a coat at some point. Um, but yeah, that's all I kind of have for now. Um... I think I will do the wine advent calendar later, but I think my husband um, ran to Meyer. We had to get um, a couple of things for the Christmas tree, um, and he got a bottle of butterscotch schnapps while he was there. And I don't know if any of, I mean, I, I didn't grow up having it because we didn't have it until adults, but hot scotches, which is hot cocoa mixed with a little bit of butterscotch schnapps. And so it is delicious and just like a nice adult drink. Um, anyway, he bought some of that, so I probably won't drink any of the wine. I may do just like a little taste test of the wine, but yes, we're going to do some drinks this evening, I think, do some um, hot scotches, and um, yeah, we thought that sounded good um, here at home. So yeah, not a whole lot going on, but um, I'm just enjoying kind of having a lazy, no-nothing day going on, recharging my batteries. So, uh, yep, all I got for now. I will check in later.
Okay, so today's wine is Pasa Rica. It's a Malbec from Argentina. I love a Malbec, it's one of my favorites. Um, so let's have a sip. Mm, that might be my favorite <laughs> so far. My son told me, because I'm saving, I only have one empty bottle. I've only finished one bottle. The rest are at various stages. Actually, very not very much at all. And then the white in the um, fridge is still like, I just have taken, it's like this full, as much as this is. Um, anyway, he said you should pick which one at the end, which one's your favorite. I think this one might be so far. It's very good. Very smooth. So yeah, I love a good mold back though. Okay, so there we have it. Today has been, I did some online Christmas shopping. <laughs> You'll be happy to know. Aside from, um, I still need to, I just need to purchase, I know what I'm getting him, but my nephew, um, one of my nephews, I got to get his gift. And other than that, I think I'm finished. Now I ordered wrapping paper and stuff and I do need to go up and wrap things because I'm not in, I think I'm finished with my children. I'm not entirely sure though. Um, yeah, I just feel like with this year, there's been like no in-person shopping. Not that, I mean, I did most of my shopping online before all the COVID stuff, but I feel like this year, especially like there's really been no in-person shopping. And I feel like there's a big push to do things really early this year because of the um, shipping. Uh, you yeah, know, they're already calling for, you know, the uh, UPS and FedEx and the post office have already put out their um, deadlines of when you need to have things shipped in order for them to guarantee before Christmas. And they're pretty early, they're like next week. Um, I was hearing on the news or whatever. So I do want to make sure that I get everything ordered. Um, and again, I did order quite a few things today for um, my sister, my sister-in-law, my brother-in-law. Um, and then I, I'm just waiting for um, a sale thing or a coupon actually for my nephew's gift. So <laughs> hopefully that we can get that ordered here really soon as well. Um, and then again, I think I'm pretty much finished with Christmas shopping. So that's very exciting. Um, so yeah, did that today. And then we decorated both trees. The kids helped. Um, we still have some decorating just of the um, house in general to do um, that maybe we'll get to tomorrow. But I'd really like to start working on that um, shirt tomorrow. So I will take you guys along with me on that one. So I hope you guys have enjoyed uh, somewhat following me around today. <laughs> and I'll see y'all tomorrow. Bye. Hello everyone, happy Vlogmas day six. Um, so it is like 1.15, um, we did our our church. Um, well, I go up to the church on Sundays and I lead a group of like, I don't know, six to eight um, fifth grade girls. Um, we're all social distance, have masks on, all that kind of thing. Um, but then I come home because we still aren't as a family going um, to church like in the sanctuary, even though they have started doing that. Everyone's masked up, social distance and stuff. We just aren't comfortable. Um, so we just watch the online um, service still at home. So I came home and did that. And then I've been sitting here watching um, Disney's Christmas Carol. It's the one that's kind of um, animated. It's animated like the um, Polar Express. And so Jim Carrey plays the part of uh, Scrooge and then all three, I think, of the um, uh, ghosts. I shouldn't say, maybe two. He plays definitely plays the ghost of Christmas uh, past and the ghost of Christmas present. The ghost of Christmas future is kind of like death or whatever. But um, anyway, while I've been sitting here watching that, as you can see, it's super, maybe you can't tell, it's really gray behind me. It's very gray and very cold. It's like 32 degrees and um, kind of just spitty and yucky. But I want to show you what I've done. I finished my sleeves on my cardigan. This is so exciting. So this is kind of a, a cropped cardigan. Um, I can't remember what this one's called. The Thanksgiving, the Thanksgiving card day cardigan. Um, I don't know. I'll pop a link to it in the description. I mean, obviously it needs to be blocked. Like I think blocking 
is gonna like where I've joined here is gonna make that look a ton better. Um, there's some pretty extreme decreases here on the sleeves to give it like a balloon sleeve effect, which I really like. And this is an alpaca merino blend, I believe. Um, it was gifted yarn to me. So I now need to um, pick up all along the neck edge and knit the neck band. Um, and then I'm done. Then I just have to block it and weave in my ends. Um, and I've got a cardigan. Then we can move on to other knitting projects. So anyway, I'm very proud of myself for getting that done. Um, it was like that last sleeve. I think that's a common phenomenon. <laughs> it's like when you're knitting socks, like the first sock goes super quick and then it's the second sock syndrome, um, which is actually why last time I knitted socks, I tried doing them two at the same time. And actually I have those somewhere and I cannot find them. I have like half knitted, two half knitted socks on like with magic loop um, somewhere and I've lost, I have no idea where they are. I've like torn my house apart looking for them. But anyway, um, yeah, that's what I've been up to today. So I think I may, I can't decide. I kind of have a busy day tomorrow. Like we've got to um, do a little house cleaning. The kids are at home tomorrow. They've got virtual day. Um, do my grocery store run on Mondays. My daughter has an orthodontist appointment. Um, and I have just a couple of other errands to run. So, and I need to figure out I have a sponsored video that I filmed on Friday that will be popping up at some point, and I don't know if that's going to be on Tuesday or not. I would like for it to be on Tuesday, but I haven't heard back from the company yet who, to okay the video. So um, fingers crossed that that's the case. Otherwise, I'll be scrambling to film a video for Tuesday, and then that one will just go up whenever I get the okay for it. But um, anyway, <laughs> it's fine. So uh, yeah, I uh, just wanted to show you what I've been up to with my sweater. Um, so I am going to... Um, can't decide. I may just eat a little bit of a hoon. I haven't had lunch yet. I may just eat some lunch and then um, I'd like to, I really, I'm kind of on a roll now. Like I kind of just want to get this cardigan done. Um, so yeah, I may do that. We'll see. All right, guys, that's all I've got for now. I will check back with you all later. Okay, so today's wine, I got, this is only the second white we've got, and this is day six, uh, Balloon Pinot Grigio from Moldova. Is that a pretty label? Um, so tonight I am making for dinner, um, oh, let me taste it first, hold on. Mmm, that's good too, I really like a Pinot Grigio. So far these have all been um, dry wines, which <laughs> I don't like sweet wines. So, so far, six days in, I've been very pleased with everything. I do have the, uh, is it a Sauvignon Blanc? What do I have in the fridge um, from the other day that I was going to use for the um, uh, fettuccine that I'm making this evening. But I think I'm going to wait. I'm going to try and do a gluten-free um, chicken pot pie, I think, this week. Our weather's just really gross. <laughs> It's like the perfect weather for chicken pot pie, but my husband and I are both, um, well, he's gone gluten-free when I went gluten. I had to go gluten-free for food sensitivities. Um, he went gluten-free too, just because he just felt, felt better when he was gluten-free. Anyway, it uses, the recipe I use uses wine, white wine in it. And so I think I'm going to make that. So I'm going to use, um, I'll just use this one I opened up tonight for tonight's dinner. And then the one that's in the fridge I can use for the chicken pot pie. So anyway, um, that's kind of it for today. I really wanted to do some sewing this weekend, but you know, I've just, I was just, I'm tired. I was just tired. And I think it was just um, a little bit of burnout just from trying to do too much, which I do quite often. Um, but I've also noticed that when the creative bug strikes, strikes, 
I need to just honor that and, and just make. And that definitely happened, um, you know, a few weeks ago. I was just in the zone and just creating and just wanting to make everything because I know that it waxes and wanes. And then I have times like right now where, um, you know, I'm still doing stuff, but just not as um, manic as I was before, kind of. Um, and I just need to relax or um, take that time to restore myself when I am feeling that way and not force it, as I guess is what I'm trying to say. So I've been knitting today and I am four rows. Let's see, the band I think is 11 rows. So I'm, I'm knitting like around the front band of that cardigan and it's 11 rows. I think that's right. I look at the instructions and I've got four rows in. Now it's a ton of stitches going from the bottom of the cardigan all the way around the back. So it takes me a while to do one row. But um, I really just want to finish this cardigan so I can move on to that um, hat and mittens and cowl set. Because um, I also want to get that coat made up. I just think that's going to be a really nice set when all is said and done. So I think I am going to work on that tonight. I want to finish decorating my house. We still haven't done that. It's 5 o'clock already. So I'm going to make dinner and then I'm going to pull the troops in. We've been working on some homework this evening too. Um, but pull the troops in. We don't have much decorating left to do, just a few things, and I think if we're all four doing it, it shouldn't take very long, and then decorating is finished, and that can be mentally off my plate. <laughs> um, and then I just need to sit down and plan out my week still. I'll do that this evening and make out my grocery list, because I'll go to the grocery store tomorrow. So yeah, I'm sorry there wasn't much more sewing, but this is just kind of life, and I'm sure the flip switch will flip here um, probably in the next day or so, and I'll be wanting to make all of the things. So <laughs> hang in, hang in there with me. I'll be back to the sewing room. Okay, that's all I've got. Um, I hope you guys have enjoyed my weekend, and I will see you guys again tomorrow.